After days of gridlock, something stirs in the corridors of Congress. Everybody either behind the stanchions or down the hall. We need half the hall here, please. Suddenly, everyone seems to have a plan. Among them, House Republican Speaker John Boehner. Uh, there are a lot of opinions about uh, what direction to go. Uh, there have been no decisions about what exactly we will do. Uh, but we're going to continue to work with our members on both sides of the aisle uh, to try to make sure uh, that there's no uh, issue uh, of default and to get our government reopened. There's a tense atmosphere on Capitol Hill. The stakes couldn't be higher. So the House Republican leaders are trying to seize the initiative and hoping that will swing their fractious party behind them. But the question remains, even if a deal can be done, is there enough time to push it through both houses of Congress and avert an economic meltdown? Republicans are putting the best gloss on this. Can you, can you tell us, do you think this is a Republican surrender? Has the White House won no. here, would you say? No. I mean, but in reality, they've been forced to give is, uh, up on their key demand, an end to Obamacare health reforms. But originally the Republicans in the House said no surrender sure. of Obamacare. It had to be defunded. You're now giving in on that. So th there's, that would be the ideal. That is not realistic uh, looking at the, uh, looking at the uh, makeup of the government that we have. So this is compromise? Yes, compromise. It's, it's a good thing. That's the American way. So it is, it is but the two sides are not getting any closer. Okay. An hour later in the Senate, Democrat leader Harry Reid was the rejecting time. the House Republican proposal. Extremist Republicans and the House Representatives are attempting to torpedo the Senate's bipartisan progress with a bill that can't pass the Senate, can't pass the Senate, and won't pass the Senate. The to and fro continues. There is movement, but time is running out. Dominic Waghorn. Sky News, Washington.